Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, LeBron James signs a additional $85 million contract extension, which will run to 2023. So it appears that LeBron James is going to play at least three more years, which means he's going to try to play at least 20 seasons. Now, keep in mind, LeBron James will be around... 38 39 by the time this uh contract extension runs out so it definitely appears that lebron james is gonna try to do two things now keep in mind his son Bronny james graduates from high school in 2023 but here's the kicker now you still cannot enter the draft you know um fresh out of high school if I'm not mistaken unless they changed it but I think LeBron James wants to stick around and play basketball with his son and also LeBron James it appears that LeBron James is going to go for the all-time leading scorer in the NBA so that means he's going to go for Kareem's record now here's the thing if LeBron James becomes the all-time leading scorer with four, four or five, maybe even six championships under his uh, under his belt, with his numbers, and we all know LeBron is known for stat padding. <laughs> so here's the thing: we then have to revisit that goat conversation. It's a fair assessment. We have to revisit that goat conversation. If he manages to surpass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and win at least two more championships, if he has six, um, like I said, and he's the all-time leading scorer, then, yeah, like I said, we're going to really have to sit down and have that conversation. You know, we really are. A lot of us going to have to sit down and discuss if LeBron James is actually the greatest player that ever played over Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, Hakeem, Tim Duncan, Larry Bird, all those guys. Kobe Bryant. Yeah, we have to have that conversation if he surpasses Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But, you know, we'll see. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.